Hi, good morning. It's Simon at Vans today in Worcester. I'm going to give you a quick video walk around of this 2019 on a 69 plate. It is the Volkswagen Caddy 2 litre TDI trend line. It does have the additional air conditioning that a trend line doesn't have a standard. Uh, and it's a very rare model with a rear tailgate. If you're looking at caddies and you want a rear tailgate, you know how rare that option is. So it's an L1 short wheelbase. It is one keeper from new. It has a warranted 25,000 miles on the clock. It is the two litre TDI Euro 6 engine in it as well. Um, and it's in great all round condition. Now the idea of this video is to give you a bolt and all video walk around of the van so that you know exactly what it is that you're buying. Now, the vast majority of our customers will watch these videos and leave a deposit online uh, over the phone. Um, give us a shout and uh, and we can get the vans delivered out to you. Just depends which route you want to go down. So starting up here on the roof, the roof has come in. It's no no, no uh, roof bars or anything like that. It's all looking very straight and tidy up there. Coming down onto your windscreen, the windscreen is in good all round condition. There are no cracks, stone chips, nothing like that to worry about. And then coming down onto the bonnet, the bonnet is in also good all round condition. No major stone chipping anything along those lines front of the vehicle your front bumper front grills etc those are all in good condition as well your passenger side headlamp unit again good condition no marks and your passenger side front bumper corner again good condition no scuffs uh, looking down the side profile of the van along the passenger side from this angle hopefully you can see there are no dents or dings to point out to you it is a very straight and tidy van <laughs> driver side headlamp unit's all good driver's side front bumper corners all good with no scuffs and again looking down the driver's profile of the van from this angle no dents or dings to point out to you driver's side front wing with integrated side repeaters in good condition we have a factory steel wheel with a factory hubcap and an avon tire on there hubcap's not in bad condition the tire loads of tire tread depth on there i'd suggest that's recently been replaced mirror unit all good mirror itself all good and then your driver's side door glass that's in good condition with no damage driver's side door itself have a look at your gaps everything aligns up as you would expect uh, no damage to the door your door lock and handles all good having a look at your door edges no major damage on there either and then if i get down on the old creaky old knees again have a look at your seals the seals are in good condition again with no damage on those either Having a look at your side panel here, the driver's side rear panel, that's in good condition, no damage on it. Just give you a viewpoint of it from this angle. You can see with the reflection in the paintwork that the van has a good polished paintwork. Your driver's side uh, rear wheel is a factory steel, minor marks on the hubcap but nothing major. And it looks like we have a budget tyre on the back there. That tyre has plenty of tyre tread depth on it as well. Driver's side rear bumper corner. Um, I've just noticed actually there's a couple of little minor little marks here. Um, nothing major. Uh, probably smart repairable to be fair. I didn't realise they were, they were there. So it's probably something we can get sorted out on it. Uh, rear reflector I think has a crack in it to be fair. Maybe might have to put a rear reflector in there. Um, yeah, I assume that we will. Uh, rear light unit, as you can see, that's in good condition. That is just a fly on the paintwork there, just in case you were thinking. Uh, rear tailgate, as I say, a really, really rare option on these things. You have a factory rear bumper protector. High level brake lights all looking good. Rear bumper, as I say, bumper protector. Really minor mark here. Really minor. So a couple of minor marks on the bumper, but nothing again, nothing major at all. Tailgate obviously opens up. They're very desirable because you can work underneath them or sit on the back of it, change your shoes and not get wet. Um, but you can see the kind of work it's been doing. The tailgate on the inside is in a very, very good condition. The inside of the van as well, really good condition. So you've got a factory bulkhead. It is caged on the upper part um, and that bulkhead is in great condition. 
as is the whole of the back of the van, your ply lining, etc. Very neat and tidy. All the flooring, the plastics inside, everything, paintwork on the edges, roof, etc. Really, really tidy condition to be fair. It's not worked hard, this van. It's obviously been carrying fresh air and pillows. Um, looking down the passenger side of the van from this angle, again, have a look. You'll notice the uh, nice and polished paintwork on the exterior, giving a mirror finish. Rear light unit's good. Rear bumper corner this side is all good. That reflect reflector is looking fine. Here is your fuel filler, which is lockable with the key. Upper quarter this side all looking good. Lower quarter and arch this side again looking good. Factory steel wheel with a factory hubcap. We have a, another budget tyre on the back end there. That tyre again allowing to tyre tread depth. Sliding door on this side all looking good. Have a look at your alignment of your panels. Let me just stand back slightly. You can see everything aligns up to how you would expect it to align. Getting down low again. Have a look at your seals. Those are in good condition with no damage. Sliding door handle all looking good. Opening up the sliding door, it slides back nicely as you'd expect and clicks into place as you would expect it to. Your interior door shuts are in good, clean, tidy condition as are your plastic entry steps. And then just another viewpoint of your bulkhead and the inside of the van from this angle of the sliding door as well. You can see really nice, tidy condition, isn't it? Passenger door, door glass, mirror unit. A couple of scratches on the mirror unit, actually. Didn't realize it had those on it either, so we'll get those sorted out on it. Mirror glass is good. Door handle there is good. Your door edges are all looking good as well. The passenger door itself is in good condition. And your passenger side front wing with side repeat is all good. And again, factory steel wheel, factory hubcap, and an Avon tire on the front there. And tires all looking good as well. Having a look in the passenger vehicle, in the passenger side, your passenger side door card, very neat and tidy. Doors, entry seals and plastics again, clean, tidy, no damage. Your owner oh no, bonnet pulls on the driver's side, so we'll show you that when we get round to there. Top of the dashboard, all good. In here we have your book pack still in the leather binder. Uh, we have storage above your head up here. And then on your passenger seats, you have side airbags in your passenger seats as well. The seats all looking clean and tidy. Flooring in the front here, it's still a bit damp from being valeted, but you can see the rubber flooring is in good order. Handle does your seat height adjustment. Obviously other adjustment on your seat is there as well. And then round to the driver's side driver's side door card again good condition with no excessive wear or tear we have electric windows we have electric heated mirrors with your central locking button there as well again the door shuts are clean and tidy your entry seals again all good flooring in the front here uh, we'll re-clean it it's just had our boots in and out of it as we've been moving it around the site but your pedal rubbers are good and your driver's side seat the trim etc is all in good condition. Now your bonnet port is down there, so I will show you in there in a second. Manual headlamps, dashboard illumination and headlamp level is on that side. We have leather multifunction steering wheel with cruise control. All your onboard computer system is over here. 24,627 miles. Put my foot on the clutch so we can fire it up. Does a systems check. Just telling us that the driver's door is open but you have a multi-function display which is controlled off these bits here now we do have dab fm am stereo with bluetooth telephone and bluetooth music we have the air conditioning hazard warning lights stop start technology electronic stability program we have 12 volt power down here as well as usb power five speed manual gearbox reverse gear all the way to the left and then forward and that activates your park pilot display Cup holders, etc., all good. In between the seats, all clean and tidy. No old McDonald's dust. 
toenails, fingernails, whatever else you may find in them. Um, all really nice and tidy. Uh, it's just, a, it's an obviously very nice, clean, tidy vehicle. Underneath your bonnet, as you can see, that's clean and tidy. Coolant, that is the correct colour coolant for Volkswagen. But obviously had a fairly fresh uh, Volkswagen uh, fuel filter on there as well. Engine, as you can see, clean and tidy. I should have turned it off before I did the video so you can hear me. But the add blue filler is there as well. Oil dipstick is here, oil filler is over there. Windscreen wash coolant, as I say, uh, fuel filter there. We have fuse box here, battery and air box in there as well. Having a quick look, your bonnet bolts are in original paintwork. Um, just shows you that it's not had any panel work off on it at all. It is a one keeper from new vehicle. It has the warranted 24,000 miles. It's a rare bit of kit with that rear tailgate. Uh, Aircon, two litre TDI, Euro 6, obviously. It is the one that everybody wants. So there we go. There are 60 to 70 photos of this van on our website. Our website is vanstoday.com. We are Vans Today Worcester, based in the centre of the country, offering you nationwide delivery, part exchange and finance. If you're worried about who you're buying off, check out our reputation online. We have reviews on Google, Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn. I think that's about me done for social media. If we could do, if you want any further help, feel free to give us a shout, 01905 672 080 or email us at sales at vanstoday.com. Thanks for looking at the videos, about 12 minutes of your life, you're never gonna get back. But as I say, the vast majority of our customers will buy from the good, honest appraisal on the video. Thanks very much. Cheers, mate.